Sometimes people ask, Charlie, what are you? A Republican or Democrat? I say I'm a patriotic miscreant from Fresno Khalifa. Coward dies a thousand deaths. A soldier dies but one. We've elected a card care socialist twice as president with Barack Hussein Obama. Socialism is a way to organize a society which all may nothing unless the common knowledge of understanding country and government are changing the hearts and the minds of the American people. See, when this country was first founded, some people wanted to name the Bill of Rights the Bill of Limitations of Government because they didn't want the people to insinuate. What's going on, America? It's your boy Charlie Box in the communist state of California. What I'm going to have in my box today is going to be the economic and social change of the world. Countries and governments are handling it a lot differently, but what are we going to do as Americans as it happens here at home? The first form of government I want to talk about and the country is a democracy, which med school is one of them. Democracies never pan out for the average person. A democracy is a system of government in which the power is vested in the people. That sounds pretty good, right? Who rule either directly or indirectly through freely elected representatives. And what that pans out to be America is what? A country of men of not of laws. It always turns out to majority rules and the rest of people are gonna eat shit. If you look at the fabric of time, every democracy before always wilters and destroys themselves. It turns into an oligarchy, and it just don't work out for the average person. And in Mexico is no different. Just look at it. It's a fell state. There's people leaving that country at an astronomical rate to come to America because there's something different here. What? Okay, the next form of government I'm going to talk about is socialism. The reason why? Because Americans are bracing it at an all-time high in 2015. We've elected a car care socialist twice as our president with Barack Hussein Obama. Socialism is a way to organize a society in which all major industries are owned and controlled by the government. No private individual or company can run any kind of industry. But what America needs to understand is government never creates uh, jobs, only debt and slavery. Well, Venezuela is one of those nation states that are socialist. The people today in Venezuela can get basic living necessities as toiletries, food, and medical supplies. And it's not because the stuff can't get shit in, it's because the government gets away of the people living their lives how they see fit. It's a failed state today. There's an article saying Venezuela's par socialist paradise turns into a nightmare. Medical shortages claim lives. And that's all because government gets in the way of the people living their lives how they see fit. They just do everything in the power to cause a man-made depression in that country. The people are rioting and hit the streets and they don't like what their government's doing. But America, socialism doesn't work out for the average person. The third form of government I'm gonna talk about is communism. And we don't need to look too far but to China in the East. Communism is a way to organize a society which government owns all things that are to be used and to be transported within the country. All property rights go to the government, nothing to the individual. It's a country of men of not a laws, and they'll let you practice your religion how they see fit. Just ask the Catholics. There was people over there in China that were Catholic and built a $20 million freaking church. Beautiful freaking thing to go praise God in. Well, when a government official went over there and says, you know what, it's an eyesore, so they tore it down. Say you want to start a family, right, because you found the man that you love. Well, you can have one child, then they have forced abortions. You think you're going to find a job wherever you see fit? Hell no. They're only going to send you to Foxconn because Americans need those Apple products to play with, entertain themselves. And the people hate those damn working conditions over there, so they started killing themselves and throwing them off the damn building, right? committing suicide. So the government went and put suicide nets all around the company. Well, the people, you think you can live wherever you want? I don't think so. They got high rise apartment complexes where a whole family lives at 200 square feet. How would you like to live in that, America? Well, people started killing themselves over there too. Why? Because they hate the living conditions living under a communist society. So they put suicide nets around the freaking apartment complexes because it's not going to be that easy way to kill yourself. You better throw yourself under a freaking chain look that shit up too. So America, how about if you're a political dissident? You don't like what the government's doing in a communist society, so you speak out. So what they'll do is lock your ass up. And when they do in China, they take your blood type and the tissue type. And whenever they find a person that wants to buy one of your organs, they'll send a death van to the prison. On the way to the airport, they'll extract all your freaking organs and send them on the first flight out to the highest bidder. See, that's living under a country of men of not a laws. In America, Communism don't work.
So now that the world is going through the economic and social change, what makes America anything different? Nothing. Because we're fighting the same freaking tyranny here at home that all these other people are living under the tyranny at their freaking country. See, we're facing an economic problems just like all these other freaking countries because we're living under a fiat currency. It's a money back system by the reputation of the government that issues that gives it its value. And how's the reputation of America today throughout the world? It's just freaking being downgraded. People throughout the world hate America. But see, America, it's two different things. You have the country and government. The government are the ones that are training your local police departments, your sheriffs, your national guards, and the Marines to deal with social unrest, riot control, and gun confiscation. The country is the people and the checks and balances within the system. See, the Bill of Rights, some people wanted to name it the Bill of Limitations on Government because they never wanted the people to insinuate that government grants to them these rights, but only it was given to them by the Creator. See, the people have to be educated of understanding country and government. But if the people don't have the common knowledge of understanding uh, about the educational system today and the complacent media, we're in a bunch of freaking trouble. And as long as we as Americans keep ignoring it, it's going to eventually come bite us in the ass. So America, the only way we change things is that if we get suited up and we have the common knowledge amongst the people of understanding country again and that God hasn't left our sights, we left Him. So if we do something that changed the world once, we could do it again. And that's getting back to the foundation of this nation. So if you're not gonna do everything in power to restore your life, liberty, and this country, America, you're gonna do everything in power to destroy all three. Charlie the box out. Charlie Box, baby. This video is for Johnny and his boys, Johnny Balls and Jake Nuts.